For most of us, all that remains of that April flood is a very bad memory. But for hundreds of our neighbors, it's a nightmare they're still living every day. Their homes still in shambles, they see no help coming, and quite frankly, no hope. Well, that all began to change for one man this past Friday when a group of workers left their offices for United Way's Day of Caring. This is what greeted the Day of Caring volunteers when they rode up to their work site on Bayou Boulevard, the home of an elderly man destroyed inside by two feet of rushing water and an overgrown yard littered with mounds of dirt and trash. We were just in shock. You had no idea what he had to endure and what he's had to uh, continue to endure. Um, trying to get his home rebuilt. And I can only imagine if you live here for all your life, what it would be like to have all your belongings basically washed down the road. Knowing that this homeowner doesn't have the physical or financial resources to help himself, the small army has come to do what they can. If we are office workers, um, not plumbers or electricians or painters, um, but we can get out and, and sweat and do some yard work and, and we thought we could do this for him. So they cut back bushes, filled a dumpster with molded sheetrock and mildewed household items. They uncovered a patio and sidewalk that had been buried under sand. When they saw that their rakes and shovels were no match for this yard, they called in reinforcements. They said that's what teamwork and being united is all about. It is, and that's where we all come in. If we all pitch in, um, it's not that hard. Though they didn't have the expertise to tackle the inside repairs, they've gotten a commitment from friends who will volunteer their services to help out there. Finally, this house is starting to become someone's home again. We all have to come together as a community. I mean, instead of just looking at, well, that's not my job, let somebody else deal with it. It lets you step forward and say, you know what, let's do something. Let's make it a better place to live. This crew can leave here knowing that they've at least made this little corner of the community a better place to live. And there is just one other thing they want to leave behind for the homeowner when he returns. Oh. Angels in Our Midst, brought to you by the Children's Hospital at Sacred Heart.